Hi there, welcome to another Brickwright video. You may be thinking that this video is going to be for the floor, but the floor, we still haven't had an answer on the floor yet, so you're going to have to wait for that for the next video. This video is all about drainage, and I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but I'm going to give you some top tips to show you how to do your underground drainage. And we'll start with the falls, okay? So the falls, what you're going to have to establish is the falls are made up of a 1 in 40 fall, right? And that's come from building control, and it's a standard fall that you would require to put your underground drainage in. You may ask why, so I'm going to tell you why. The 1 in 40 is made up of, if you've got a fall of more than 1 in 40 and it's severe and it's like that, what will happen is when you do a little poo-poo, your poo will go down the pipe and the water will go faster than your poo. So what will happen is your poo will actually stay in the pipe and block the pipe. So you don't want a, a severe fall. If your fall is level or close to level and you've got a slight fall on it, what will happen is everything will just stay in the pipe and you'll get a blockage. So you don't want that to happen. So 1 in 40 is being calculated um, as the standard for a good fall so that your water and your poo and everything else that's going down it will flow away in the correct way. So that's why we've established a 1 in 40 fall. How do you get a 1 in 40 fall? So in our case, what we've done, doing an extension, you measure from the inside of your extension here, and you also measure, well, Fraser will show you down there, the other side of the extension right down there. You get that measurement and you divide that by 40, which is your 1 in 40 fall. And that will give you a measurement. So in this case, we need 275 millimetres from this level to the level right down there at the bottom end to equate our 1 in 40 fall, right? So we'll show you that on the laser level just to prove it's 1 in 40. The other thing you can do if you haven't got a laser level is you can do this. So we've got a 6 foot level, 1.8 metre long level. Divide that by 40 and I think we worked it out that that piece of timber, which is on here, look, is actually 40 millimetres thick. So all I've done is cut a piece of timber and I've duct taped that onto the level like that. And then what you do is when you're laying your pipe work, if you put your spirit level on there and you put your spirit level on there, you've got to get that level. And we're still in the process of leveling. This is slightly high. So get your spirit level level and your pipe work will then be one in 40. So let's get the laser level set up and we'll show you the measurement from there to there, which is supposed to be 275. Yeah. So that sound you can hear is telling us that the laser level's level. All right. So what you want to do when you get to this bit is just mark that there. We'll get that to shut up. So put a mark on there. Like that, right? So that's this side. Follow me down to that side now, Frey. Right. Got this sounding out here as well. Let's get rid of the sound. You just draw a line there now. So this is what we've. So this is what we've got. Look, we got a line here, and we got a line there. So if we measure between that line and that line, so that line is at the top and this line is down here. Measure between there and there. And as long as we got somewhere near 275 mil, we got that one in 44. So as you can see there, we have actually got 275 millimeters, which is what we were actually looking for. So we have got a one in 44 from there, right the way through ticked off the box. That's how you get your falls sorted and done on site accurately. So to mark your, your pipe absolutely straight, what we've bought, look, is one of these. You just put that over the top, get it to your designated area, draw a line around there. That makes that, so when you get your saw on it, that makes that a perfectly straight line around there. So when you cut it, perfectly straight so it's another top tip for you get yourself one of them from screw screw fix or tool station and uh, you'll get get a nice straight line around your pipe
and you just want to cut on that line then and you've got a nice straight cut all the way through your pipe there we go one nice straight cut so when you cut it we bought i'm saying buy this from screw fix I, I can't remember the names i'll have to dig the names out for you and maybe leave them in the description so get one of these things whatever they're called we will find out I know what from it's called. what's it called circular run pipe smoother upper 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 upper, upper. yes yeah, circular smooth pipe smoother upper i'll just go in screw fix ask for one of them and you'll have one of them all right um, so yeah, get that on here now, Freight, and that'll um, chamfer your pipe off, ready to connect another pipe to it. There we are, that's gone on there now. So all, your, all that is all chamfered, nice straight cut, really nice clean chamfer on it. Now we move on to the next stage of... Uh, lubing it up and putting the connector on it right so just to show you how good this is that's the end that comes factory cut chamfered from the factory right and this is the end that Frey's just done so you can see it's all nice and straight and the chamfer's pretty much just as good as that so that's what you're looking for nice straight cut chamfered that's done let's do the next bit so get yourself some pipe lubricant and that's what it's called pipe lubricant you can get that from any builders merchants right just go in the builder's merchant and you can get them. So you want to put a little bit of lubricant on there. A little bit on the pipe. I'll say a little bit. Just slap it all on. There we go. That's on nice and, nice and tight. Good job. Right, so doing a test on this now. So this gully goes around down the side of the extension into this manhole here. All that water goes down here. That's working perfectly. Eventually, that gully coming off the roof will come down here and into here and down into the rest of it. Now, that gully's a back inlet gully, so it's rodable. So you can rod down through here. That gully's rodable. Uh, sorry, that manhole's rodable, so you can rod down there. And then that gully there's also rodable, so you can rod up or you can rod down, whichever you want. And then what we did the, on the plan, it says a Durgo valve to go on here, which is like an internal ventilation system. Um, so save putting that on and boxing it all in what we've done we've changed that got a stench pipe coming up here now look vertical off that pipe there and you can vent this from outside the building which is better um, that one there this is for a toilet and a shower this one here is for a bath and a sink that one there is for the utility room so ie washing machine and then all this water comes down here and then by here we've got an island so that's going to be taking up a sink and a dishwasher that one there is a toilet and wash hand basin and a cloakroom and then it comes out to here then and that's going that way down here we've got that gully connected into there and then it goes down into this one which we've cut into that big clay pipe there and then that water goes in there if i'm being fussy we just need to put the spirit level and maybe raise this end up ever so slightly so it all works so what we're going to be doing next is that that stench pipe used to come off down into here look into that where is it that one there and then what we're going to be doing is continuing that pipe so it's all plastic from there up to there and that's that's the last bit of the job so that manhole then becomes redundant so there we go then nice little video just to give you a few tips on your drainage building control have signed this off if anybody's wondering that we got a clean water going into foul that's all been confirmed with building control as well i got an allowance on this job 
to for us to be able to do that as we've got an allowance to bring all these Ys into a straight run as well. So see, it's all been clarified with building control. They're happy, it's all been ticked off. Hopefully the video's helped. We have got a decision finally on the floor, which we'll have to definitely catch up in the next video. Until then, please like, subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Cheers.